This is the Pam 8403, and today we're going to be building our own DIY speakers. If you haven't watched my overview video on the Pam 8403, the link will be in the description. I highly advise you watch that before moving on to this step. So here, we're going to take a look at our, our nine connections. As we can see, we have our negative and positive for our right speaker, our positive and negative for our left speaker, our negative and positive for our power source, and our input, left, ground, and right. Today, I'm going to be using an aux cord as my input source. The PAM 8403 has an output of 3 watts and can handle a load of 4 ohms. Next we can cut down our wire to size and prepare it so we can make this board operational. We now have our wire cut down to size, and now we can begin to solder our connections. Okay, so the speakers are soldered, and now we can solder the board. We have just completed soldering our board. On the left side, you can see we made our four connections for our two speakers, negative to negative, positive to positive, both on the board and on the speaker. Here, we have our two power connections. And on the right, we have our input, which where I cut up an old aux cord, and I had three wires. One green wire, uh, one red wire, and one bare copper wire. Uh, the green wire I connected to the left, the bare wire connected to ground, and the red wire I connected to the right. Next, we will choose our battery because this board only runs on DC power. Uh, this board is rated for 5 volts. I don't have a 5 volt battery around. Uh, I have a 3 volt battery and we're going to try that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, this board is rated for 2.5 volts to 5. I don't have a case for this battery, so electrical tape should do just fine for now. So we're going to match it up negative to negative and positive to positive. Next we can connect our aux to our audio device. position start the music and once we click it to the on position 
I do have a poor connection with this tape. But if I click, if I press down on the battery, hear a little sound, and we can adjust it with this knob. found this video helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe it really help the channel grow and I'll catch you guys next time